it's Jessica Damasa with WTF Health. I'm here with Orientina Di Giovanni, a beautiful Italian name. She is with Z-Cube. So tell us what Z-Cube is and where it came from. Oh, Z-Cube is a research venture within Zambon. Zambon is a pharma company, 113 years old, uh, based in Milan. And so t tell us a little bit about Zambon. What, what kind of pharma company are they? Like, what is their area of expertise? Oh, uh, well, uh, Zambon is uh, uh, actually one of the most internationalized companies in Italy, with uh, over than 70% of its turnover uh, made abroad, and is uh, particularly expert in chronic respiratory condition and CNS. Okay, and so what is Z-Cube? How does this fit into the picture? Uh, Z-Cube, it's an initiative, it's a research venture entirely devoted to scout on the startup uh, world and develop um, modern health solution. The initiative has been somewhat triggered by a passion uh, in the Zambon family for caring. I mean, the company has been developing many drugs in 113 years and has contributed to prolong expectancy of life uh, of patients. And now patients are living with uh, chronic diseases for decades. So we started wondering how can we help them on the care side, supporting them not only in treating their disease, but helping them coping with symptoms. So the Cube has been uh, focused on that, on developing, thanks to digital technology and uh, what is enabling us to do, in bridging the gap between patients and specialist care. The first startup we have been launching is Parkinson Care, which is a digital platform combined with a real Parkinson disease nurse specialist that is supporting patients and their caregiver in their everyday life, helping them in coping with symptoms, but also coaching them to become increasingly engaged and protagonist of their life. On the other side, we enable to uh, shorten the distance between patients and their healthcare professionals, doctors and neurologists, sharing with them all the clinical information that patients are telling us because we want to improve the understanding doctors has of quality of life of patients. No, this is exciting. And so what kinds of outcomes are you seeing so far? Is this rolled out in the market? Uh, yes, it's in the market. We have 50 patients for the time being, and we have just uh, published the poster at the Movement Disorder Society Congress in Nice, uh, beginning of October, where we have been analyzing uh, the usage, the way patients use the platform and interact with nurses. We have understood that they do prefer telephone lines and um, conversation, direct conversation with nurses to short messages or email. But we have also understood, because we have been asking them, what do you see in that? How this is helping you? That for them is very, very important to have a personal referent in their daily life. So I think that digital technology can really play a great role in that field, which is the continuity of care, because it is getting sustainable from an economical standpoint to help patients at their home without keeping them in the hospital. So you had mentioned that Z-Cube has a, a number of different startups that you're looking at. Is this the only one that you're working on right now that's in market or are you looking at others? No, we are, of course, as Z-Cube, we are looking around for other um, startups, uh, other projects. Uh, I am, for the time being, uh, entirely dedicated to Parkinson care. Okay. But my colleagues in Z-Cube are obsessed <laughs> with new things. No, that, that's really exciting. So um, I'm curious about, I guess, next steps, not only for the, the company that you're working, this Parkinson solution that you're working on, but also for, for, yeah. for Z-Cube moving forward. I mean, what are you guys looking for next? As Parkinson Care, we are now uh, approaching uh, another neurodegenerative disease where several clinicians and our advisory board have recommended to enter because this is clearly very, very similar to Parkinson. 
But that cube is, uh, has a much wider uh, view of this field. And uh, they are looking also at uh, big data, uh, IoT, and uh, the entire repertoire uh, in digital health. That's very exciting. So I, can any startup just apply to, how do, you, how do you get involved? How do they find these people? <laughs> yes, we, we, we are about to launch a new call for startups in the digital health field in the um, uh, seed money stage. Uh, very, very soon we will publish on our website uh, the terms and the deadlines to apply, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And check us on uh, ZCube website. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining mm -hmm. us. It's a pleasure to hear about the work you're doing. I'm Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. Thank you so much.